What is up you beautiful people? I am here this morning at Nourish Cafe and I cannot wait to share with you what I just ordered because it's gonna be amazing. While we're waiting for them to prep our order, I wanted to show you these two little immunity mm -hmm. shots that we got. Um, I'm taking a totally turmeric one because I'm traveling and need all of the nutrients that I could possibly get uh, not to get sick during flu season. So this one is for me. This one is for my girl. She is um, having an immunity. It's gonna be amazing. In addition to these, like she's drinking pink, I'm drinking yellow, we also got um, some turmeric and beetroot lattes. So I'm gonna show you her beetroot latte because it's already here and it looks fantastic. So we're gonna eat this and then we're taking you guys to the Museum of Ice Cream. So cheers. Yeah, cheers. the Museum of Ice Cream, which I didn't take you guys along with me because quite frankly there were just a lot of children in there and I'm not about that game. So overall I was kind of disappointed because there were two things that I wanted to see that I didn't realize were only in the New York location and not the San Fran location. But if I ever had a chance to see the museum in New York, I would probably do it again. So, right now, I'm just hiking up this fucking hill in Chinatown to go to my favorite beloved coffee shop. Let me show you all. This place inside here has a rainbow latte, which is amazing. Not exactly sure what I'm gonna be getting next, but I'll show you. All right, what is up guys? My stuff from Home Cafe just came over and it looks amazing. Let me just show you what this latte looks like. This is the birthday cake latte with oat milk from Home SF. so parched, so I got myself a semi-sweet matcha latte. Cheers. And it has sparkling water in it. Uh, this is like totally my jam. Perfect for a day being parched. Like, come on guys, this is great. So later today we are going to go out to 16th Avenue, it's supposed to be a really good photo location, and then we're also going to go out to Baker Beach at, um, well maybe not Baker Beach, but the Golden Gate area for Golden Hour. So can't wait to bring you guys along with that stuff, we have some really cool things planned, and we'll see you at the next location. What is up you beautiful people? It has been such an incredible day and I'm glad that you partially got to join me for part of it. But I am sitting here at the Golden Gate Bridge during golden hour right now and it just so happens to be my favorite day of the month. It is a full moon tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and you know what that means? It means setting intention for the following month. A lot of the times what I like to do is 
get a couple of close friends together, sage my house, and really just think about what I want to accomplish for the month and um, how I'm gonna do it. What steps am I gonna take to get there? So full moons are really special periods of the month, of the year. I celebrate them all the time. And especially when you find good people who have good intentions themselves, they'll think that it's cool and want to celebrate it with you. And it's, it's just brings people together. It brings people together to set their intention. And I don't know, you might try it sometime and just see what it does for you. Because I know I feel a lot better about what I'm doing in my life and what I'm trying to strive for and do when I set proper intention during a full moon like this. So right now, you can see it, it's like this beautiful golden color. I wish that I would have brought my telescopic lens so that I could really show you the detail in the moon, but maybe I'll save that for another video sometime in the future. But, you guys, this is just incredible, and I'm glad that I can share this experience with you. My heart is just so full right now, and I guess since we're talking about sharing intention, maybe I should share a couple of intentions that I have for February 2020 with you all. So basically my intentions this month are going to be focusing on self-love and self-care. I'll be doing some videos about what I do for that kind of thing uh, sometime in the near future. You guys can see my routine. And my other intention for the month is to just continue living my authentic life and really hone down on the lifestyle that I see myself in. I think once I start doing that, a lot of my dreams are gonna become reality and that is the best part. That is the most exciting part, is this intention that you set with inside yourself, it's like a deal that you're making with yourself to do better, to accomplish what you want to accomplish. And when you do that on a consistent basis, everything else will follow. So thank you guys for sharing this journey with me. I am going to go eat some amazing vegan food here in San Fran, and I might take you along for that as well. I think we're going to vegan sushi. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. So, I will see you a bit later. Good morning, beautiful people. I just realized that I didn't end my vlog last night, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. I hope that you enjoyed coming around the city with me and seeing some of my favorite places. I absolutely love San Fran. There's, there's just some kind of vibe about it that keeps me coming back for more. And this was my first like real travel vlog that I put up on YouTube. So it's only gonna get better from here, guys. Stick with me. It's gonna be an incredible journey. And yeah, so if you like what you see here, smash that subscribe button below and I will see you on a future episode.